Hello friends! It is Hillary here of Creative Faith and today is our second installment of Bible journaling for the non-artistic. So I already did a video and I'll put a link in the description below talking all about printables and how they are a great option if you consider yourself non-artistic. And today we're going to be talking all about my very favorite medium, you can probably guess, is watercolors. I love using watercolors and I think they're a really simple and beautiful way to create artwork in your Bible and more like not necessarily artwork but create pretty pages where you can write and reflect about what God is teaching you through the text and they I feel like don't require a ton of artistic skill <laughs> and I will have five different ideas for you guys using watercolors in your Bible and so I first wanted to show you kind of some of my favorite watercolors this first set um, my aunt got for me from craft warehouse back a long long time ago and this is actually one of the couple things I brought with me when I was living abroad in the Dominican Republic and so I use these watercolors almost exclusively these watercolors and pens in my Bible journaling for the first six months as Bible journaling I only used watercolors pens and stamps and you guys will see a lot of images in my Bibles today using this set so and I'll have links to all these products below so then another one of my favorite sets that I picked up once I was living in the States again were the primer marketing watercolors I have just these classics and then this set are metallic watercolors. I think my sister got them at Michael's and gave them to me for Christmas. I love metallics. And you can tell the yellow is my favorite. <laughs> and then I also love handmade watercolors. And so these are the two sets of handmade watercolors that I have. This first set is from Designs by Rachel Beth. And I'll put a link to her Etsy shop in the description below. And then this one is from my friend Angeline over at Dots and Dust, and I'll put a link in the description below to her Etsy shop. Many of the uh, designs that you guys will see in pages today are using these two sets as well. So I just wanted to kind of show you some different watercolor options that I like. The handmade ones are a little more on the expensive side, but the other three sets I showed you are pretty affordable and so I have never kind of used any of the fancier watercolors that a lot of people talk about I this is more my price range so that is what I'm going to show you guys so I am now going to talk about five different ways that you can use watercolors to create beautiful bible pages even if you feel like you are not super artistic but before I share those five secret ways special ways uh, I'd love it if you guys hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the creative faith youtube channel and and also be sure to like this video because I know you're going to like all these techniques. So I'm going to be jumping around between three different places that I'm going to show you. This is my little Psalms Bible and then I have my journaling Bible, the first one I ever did. And I also have a little mini traveler's notebook that I'm going to show you in. But here's technique number one. Number one, number one is mixing multiple colors together. This is one of my favorite ways and the most simple way, I think, to create beautiful pages. So this is Psalm 23 and you can see I just have all these different colors mixed together. I think it just creates a beautiful background. I could have added some journaling or underlined or highlighted. I just wanted to keep it super simple. So there's one example. Here's another one. I also added a stamp on top of this one, which will be a different video. <laughs> but you'll see that it has pretty similar color scheme. You use the same set between the two. So using multiple colors. And then I have one more example of that in, this is my very first journaling Bible. I don't work in it a ton anymore. But here is an, another example of using multiple colors and mixing them together. Just created a beautiful background and it gave me some space to just write out the, the first. So that is technique number one, multiple colors. Technique number two is using simple shapes. Simple shapes. So... Here is an example of one. This is using just watercolor and you see I made a hill and the sun and then a background. So very simple shapes. Really didn't require very much artistic talent. Just Googled a picture of a sunrise. 
This one is also using simple shapes. All I did was make a bunch of triangles out of watercolors. So another simple way you can use shapes to create beautiful Bible pages without having a ton of artistic talent. This one, another very simple shapes using triangles. And so the previous one also used triangles. This one, I again did the hillside with three crosses and kind of the, the sky behind it. Um, so, and then did journaling on top. So another one that showed very simple shapes. This one, it's kind of hard to see because the mountain on the other side bled through. But you see, all I did was make rectangles. No artistic talent at all, right? Just making rectangles. But it re really made a cool background to represent the story of Nehemiah. So that is technique number two, simple shapes in watercolors. So the third one I wanted to point out to you guys was using watercolors to outline a verse or a scripture. And so you'll see here, I used watercolors to go all around the main scripture. And so that's a cool way to highlight one chunk of scripture you could underline or put a box around it. So that is one technique using, um, that was number three, using watercolors to outline a verse. So you can do it that way. Or another way is doing it this way. So you can, so on this one, you'll see I watercolored everything but the verse. And then on this page, I only watercolored the verse. And so that is another really simple, easy way to use watercolors. So that was number three, using watercolors to outline the verse or scripture that you are studying. All right, number four is using watercolors around the edges. And this, I think, is my favorite one. Well, I like all of them because I love watercolors. <laughs> but you'll see I just did some gray around the edge. And I just have really simple journaling. Are we being quiet enough to hear God? Wow, how simple. But I think this page is so beautiful that it really required very little artistic skill. And then I have two more examples of watercoloring on the edges around here. So this is my little camping notebook and there is a freebie on my blog called Camping with Christ and I'll put a link in the description box below so you guys can check that out and so this is where I've been journaling the different verses and things all about camping and so this was I cut up a piece of the devotion um, but you'll see before I did that I watercolored the edges and so I made the edges darker than the inside and it just makes kind of a cool frame and then same on here I just did the top corner and the bottom corner and it just kind of framed the verse. So even if I didn't have this sticker here, it just frames the verse nicely and again requires super low artistic skills. <laughs> and then technique number five is ombre. So ombre watercolors. So making the bottom or the top darker um, and then going lighter or getting darker on the top and going lighter on the bottom. So I love ombre. I think there's another example of ombre in here too. And different s'mores verse I did. So you can see how the bottom is darker than the top. And then in this Bible, I have one more example of ombre. This was kind of in the corner, getting lighter up that way. And so this is kind of ombre and edges. <laughs> But you'll just see, I just took notes. I just, this is a prayer I wrote out in Spanish. So another really simple way, but it makes a page look really beautiful. It gives you a neat space to write prayers or take notes or things like that. So those are the five watercolor ways to Bible journal for the non-artistic. So again, the first one was using multiple colors mixed together or kind of separated. And number two is using simple shapes in your Bible using watercolors. Number three was using watercolors to outline a verse, either painting all around it or only painting the verse. Number four was watercoloring only the edges. And number five was ombre, so doing a dark to light or light to dark with watercolors. And it gives you just a beautiful space for journaling. 
So I hope you guys liked this video and that it inspires you if you're feeling like, ah, I'm not very artistic, but I would love to Bible journal. Watercolors are a great tool to pick up and just, I hope this gave you some good inspiration and ideas for how to use them simply in your Bibles. And until the next video, bye guys.